Hope you guys enjoy this video. I took Stubbs out this morning. He looked all right. I had him for sale for about a week. The only thing I got was people calling me and texting me and asking me questions that were answered in the post on Facebook. And other people telling me the only reason why I'm selling him is he's junk. So I was only asking a couple hundred bucks for him. I have a lot of other dogs to hunt, mine and other people's. So I want him to go to someone that would actually put a lot of time into him. But apparently people don't want him, so I'm just going to keep him and finish him out myself. Then I can give him to my son or let my dad hunt him since he hunts kind of closer. But I hope you enjoy this video. Get it, Stubbs. Stop. Good boy, Stubbs. I also forgot to mention earlier, he's only 11 months old, so he's still pretty young. But like I said, the only thing I don't really like about him is his personality. He's kind of skittish and he hunts close. Well, as I was screen recording, Screen recording my dog trust so you guys could see it. He took off and treated a squirrel. Just saw it timber. He just took off running after it. Good job, buddy. Good boy. Good job. Good boy. Yeah. Good boy. Good job. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Gonna walk back up to the house now. He's loose, but I got him just walking right next to me. He's actually swimming in the swamp I'm crossing now, but I'm gonna go get in my truck and head on over to my uncle's woods and walk him around in there. I don't know if we'll get treated or not though, cause it's getting kind of late in the morning and it's getting hot out, but try and see if we'll get on another one. Just open up on the distance once.
he might be true. He doesn't open on the ground. Might be an older track since it's about noon now. Yeah, I'll go and see what he's got. Good boy. Good job, buddy. Good job. Good boy. Good boy. Something else I want to share with you guys, if you're interested in buying a dog, make sure you hunt with it first or you get it from someone you trust and know personally. And just because it's expensive doesn't mean it's good and just because it's cheap doesn't mean it's bad. I'm sure a lot of you've seen the dog Sheppy on my channel. She's a walker female. She's a really good coon and squirrel dog. We've had her for her whole life. Got her when she was like five or six months old. One of our good friends, John, gave her to us for free when she was a pup. Pretty much every dog you see in all my videos on my channel were given to me or my dad from family, friends, and other people we know for free. So if you know the right people, you don't have to spend thousands and thousands of dollars on dogs. If you're rich and you have a ton of money, yeah, you can just go buy a finished dog. But if you're a normal person like me, it's almost always better off just to go to a proven cross or like a proven breeder. Like with mountain curs, if you go to like Alan Franklin or someone like that, if you get a puppy out of a proven cross, you're going to be spending less money and you'll actually get to learn from it and teach it what it's doing. All these dogs that I hunt, mine and other people's, they're not just finished dogs that I bought. All the dogs I have and hunt, I've trained myself or my dad has trained. You don't have to be rich to do this. If you wanna get a good dog, you can get a puppy from a proven cross, take it hunting, let it learn naturally and do its thing and push it along the way and it should make it. If you're gonna buy a dog that's finished, just remember, know the person you're getting it from and Try and hunt with it first, that way you know what you're getting. But I can't say enough, just because it's expensive doesn't mean it's good, and just because it's cheap doesn't mean it's bad. Just like this dog you watched today. Someone could have bought him for 300 bucks at one point, but now I'm probably gonna finish him out and you're not gonna be able to buy him very cheap when you have a Duck Creek Razor pup that's a finished squirrel dog. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll probably end up just keeping him since no one wanted to buy him before, and if he's treeing squirrels, I'll just keep hunting him and finish him, and then later on, if I want to get rid of them, I'll get rid of them. If not, I'll just keep them. But I can be picky, as you can tell by my YouTube channel and other, everything else I post. My dad has a lot of good dogs. I have a lot of good dogs, and people bring dogs to me to hunt for them. So I have no problems with having dogs to hunt. I actually have too many dogs to hunt. So that's my initial reason for getting rid of him is because the only thing I don't like about him is he's skittish. And that's not really a hunting fault. He goes hunting in tree squirrels, as you can see. So... I guess I'll just keep him and you'll keep seeing him on the channel. When I can get him out, I'll take him out at night too. So just stay tuned and you can see his progress. <laughs>